Good evening. Welcome to our special groundbreaking service this evening for the Grace Lutheran Church and Child Learning Center here in Sarita. We are so thankful that all of you are here to join us this evening in, in celebration of what is to come uh, here in our ministry uh, in Sarita. So thank you for joining us and invite you to follow along in the service that you have printed there. And our opening song is In Christ Alone. I will be singing that to a Koine arrangement. So again, you will hear that through the speakers and they are singing as well. So you can kind of sing along as best as you can. Oh 
Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are here to ask God's blessings as we set apart this ground for the building of a church and a child learning center. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Unless the Lord builds the house, his builders labor in vain. Praise to you, O Lord our God, King of the universe. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hallowed be your name in all the world. In loving kindness have gathered us around your pure word and sacraments and have kept us in faith in Christ Jesus. By grace, you have formed us as your congregation and have given us every spiritual blessing in Christ. With thanksgiving, we come before you in worship and praise for your goodness as we break ground for these new buildings. May your glory dwell here and your grace continue to be revealed in word and sacrament. May your love descend like the dew from heaven on this place and on all who gather here to worship you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm grateful that all of you joined me out here this evening to celebrate what has been done so far on this land. It's only taken me two years to get to this point. Actually, about two years and one month to get to this point. When we first looked at the land, until today. It's been uh, two years of hard work. I've put in a lot of time and energy, sleepless nights, a lot of stress, many worries, and yes, I freak out over the budget too. <laughs> Some people uh, have emailed me that couldn't be here this evening and said some extremely complimentary words complimenting me for my hard work, my dedication, my effort to the project. Some actually were pretty skeptical that I'd be able to pull it off. They didn't think that we would be here today. Now, I'm guessing there are a few of you here that are thinking, I don't think you did all the work, Pastor. <laughs> I'm 100% positive that you did not raise the money needed for this project. That did not come out of my pocket. It is your project. You are part of the blessings that we share today, but it is easy for me to take credit for a lot of the work. It is easy for the building committee to receive praise for all that they have done. And yes, many of you here might feel, you know, I, I contributed a significant amount as well. I deserve some praise and glory also. It is an easy trap to think that we have accomplished this. There are so many opportunities, or there have been so many opportunities, and if it had been just on us, it would have failed. It would have failed long ago. We would not be here today if it had depended on our efforts, on our work, on our ingenuity, our creativity. Glory is God. He is the one that is here today blessing this. He is the one that makes this possible. I'm sure many of the Sarita people that have been here for a little while would not imagine this five, six years ago. Maybe not even two years ago. Blessings from God. It is not self. This isn't a, a self-centered project. This isn't about even our congregation. It is about God. It is about His glory. We are simply His tools that He is using to bring the gospel to young children of our community, to their families, to those that live here in Sarita. It's all His. This land was here long before any of us even imagined it. This land is going to be here long after our buildings are here, maybe even our crumbling. This is all God's always been his and it will always be his everything that has been given to us is already his what a 
privilege it is today to give thanks to him for what he has given to us, what he allows us to use to be good stewards of, to share with others, to share with our community. Glory be to him. This project is about him. It's about the salvation that he brings to us. It's the forgiveness of sins. The pure gospel message that we enjoy already as a group week after week. I want to share with more people. This is an opportunity, the beginning of an opportunity that God has placed before us to praise him, to honor him, to use this to his glory. Because it's all he is anyways. That's the reason I chose the lesson there. First Chronicles chapter 29. King David not get to build the temple, but he collected all of the materials to build the temple. It is an unimaginable amount of money. King Solomon collected a trillion dollars worth of gold and jewels and, and all of that to build a temple to the Lord. And he easily could have taken all of the credit and all of the glory. But he is quick to place it where it belongs. God. Glory to him. Other, land, other kings of the land clearly were, were raising structures to their glory, but King David was giving this all to the Lord. He was happy that his people had gathered together, had given generously to the Lord, had shared it with God for the building of a temple to give glory and honor to God. So today we give glory and honor to God. We praise him just like King David. So again, words from 1 Chronicles chapter 29. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks. Praise your glorious name. Who am I? Who are my people? That we should be able to give as generously as this. Everything comes from you. And we have given you only what comes from your hand. We are foreigners and strangers in your sight, as were our ancestors. Our days on earth are like a shadow. Without hope, Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand. All of it belongs to you. This is the word of our Lord. Our next hymn will be sung by the voices of grace, the church is one foundation.
Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for leading us to build a house for your honor and worship. Give your grace to all who will be involved in the work of building, that the construction may be successfully completed. Set apart this building for the proclamation of your saving gospel, that your holy name may be worshipped here in spirit and in truth for many generations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. With faith in Jesus Christ, we break this ground in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. At this time, I invite the called workers to come forward. Uh, they'll come forward, they're going to grab a shovel, put on a hat, and then we'll be going over there. And again, speaking the words in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, and breaking the ground. Uh, again, approximately, it's fairly close to where the uh, altar will be of the new church. Just one note also, uh, one of our called workers was not able to be with us, so uh, Alex Moss was not able to be with us this evening, um, and we pray that Pastor Salinas will someday be with us as well. Uh, our, uh, so, uh, again, so invite the called workers forward. Again. We pray. Almighty and eternal God, your Son Jesus ascended on high to rule over creation, that it may serve your saving purposes and Christ's holy people. You have given us the desire and opportunity to serve and worship you at four sites in southern Arizona. What a privilege to share in this ministry of Grace Lutheran Church in this place and our other sites. What you have started through our multi site ministry, we boldly ask you to bless bring to completion all of our efforts to share your gospel so that they may serve your glory and benefit your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our next groundbreaker is one of our students. Many of you know him from the video, so Emmett's going to come up and uh, turn over a shovel as well. third group are the project leaders and so I invite them to come up at this time they have opted not to use the hard hats and they will be coming up uh, grabbing a shovel and also breaking ground in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit
We'll join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. We'll join together in singing our closing hymn, Now Thank We All Our God, also to a point A arrangement.
a special thank you to all of you for joining us this evening. Uh, the weather turned out absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm glad you all could join us and made it in here safely. As you see on your service folder there, the number of thank yous, uh, again, I'm sure there are some that I missed in here. Uh, but again, special thank you to those that are listed there. Uh, many members of the congregation have, uh, again, invested time and energy into the project. The, the building committee has been instrumental. The uh, Child Learning Center Committee, the Capital Campaign Committee. Thank you also to our architect team. Uh, again, Trito, architect out of Milwaukee, he wasn't able to be here. Uh, Engberg Anderson has joined us uh, this evening, so again, thank you to uh, your work on this. Again, you see Ranch of Sarita, uh, all their patients with us along the way, uh, the town of Sarita. Uh, hopefully you saw the article in the newspaper this morning about what we're doing, so again, we're very grateful for uh, getting the word out there. Uh, the work, again, of our civil engineer from WLB, a realtor. Uh, big thank you to, to Division Two. Uh, you saw their sign as they're coming in, uh, as you're coming in. Uh, they're the guys putting the structure up. So you're going to see more of them. Um, and uh, we uh, thank them for getting this ready for tonight. Uh, the hoops that they had to jump through to get that done, we're appreciative of that. Uh, but again, look forward to uh, what is going to happen here. Again, you saw the Thrive-In shirts. Again, thank you to thrive for the support. Uh, you'll also get some Culver's ice cream, uh, so thank you to that. And then again, the many other things within our church body, church extension fund, uh, kingdom workers for, again, their help and their support, the whole missions. Uh, again, you noted there uh, the videos that were produced. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, we hope to have a few more of those. Uh, the point in music we have this evening. And again, if I forgot to mention someone, I apologize. Uh, we are very thankful for all that you've done. I did have just a real short presentation. I'm not going to keep you here long. <laughs> But some of you may remember the very first drawings we had. Some of you may appreciate these publisher drawings. They are crude. The very first one didn't, didn't fly. But not too far away. Doesn't look as pretty as what the architects did. Trust me, I know that. But not too bad. So we're very, again, very excited about uh, where this is headed, uh, what we are doing there. Many of you have probably seen some of the interior layout, some of what's going on there. Again, uh, the church. Again, approximately where you're sitting right now uh, is where the church will be. I think the altar is probably right about there, close to that. And we have glass windows uh, looking out on the beautiful mountain view. So again, uh, we look forward to enjoying this night uh, as worship. Uh, and then also the Child Learning Center here uh, with our 10 classrooms. Uh, capacity for about 175 students. Uh, we have almost 50 pre-registered, uh, so we are well on our way. We've got three teachers, very excited uh, about the Child Learning Center. The, the next one most of you have probably seen as well, the exterior of the church. So again, as you're looking at the front doors of the church where you would be walking in, that's back there. And the front of the church is or where the altar is, is pointed at the mountains there to, uh, again, take in the beautiful landscape uh, we have here. And then the Child Learning Center will be going that direction, into the desert, uh, kind of right down there. One of the neat things that you can't really take in right now, we have a driveway coming in here, and there's a road that goes to Town Hall over there. Where those two drives and those intersections meet is where our bell tower is. It'll look super cool. The other thing that you maybe can't get from this is the scale. Um, these buildings are massive. Uh, they're going to be the biggest buildings around here. Uh, we've got the tallest building. The tallest building right around here will be our church. Um, not to be vain, it's not about that, but it's for visibility. Uh, because we are tucked back, we want to be visible from the river, we want to be visible from that way and all directions. So we are very excited about the visibility of the church, and this is a huge building as well. If you look behind you, you see the high school. That's about how big this building is. So again, we're very excited about the scale and the ministry we're going to be able to do through those buildings. The last one, we have a couple interior renditions of the church. So again, glass windows here looking out on the mountains. Uh, the cross, again, pointing that direction. Um, again, we are just very excited about the worship space, uh, interior and all of those things as well. So again, really a great opportunity here to praise God, uh, to reach our community. We have lots of students, lots of jobs, lots of outreach, and we are excited to get it. I don't know. 
when exactly we're going to see concrete out here, but hopefully soon. <laughs> but again, thank you to all for joining us this evening. Thank you for being here. As a token of our appreciation, there are two coolers over there that have ice cream. There's vanilla chocolate and cookies and cream. Please get some ice cream. Also, when you get your ice cream, grab a little token because Culver's donated ice cream as well that you can take and go to any Culver's and grab a scoop of ice cream. Uh, so there are enough tokens there for everyone here. Uh, so again, a big thank you to Culver's for that. Also, if you would like your picture, uh, digging some dirt as part of the groundbreaking, uh, feel free to come here, grab a shovel, grab a hard hat, play in the dirt. Uh, not too much. <laughs> still dust. Uh, little kids, if you want to do it too, if your parents want to get a picture with the little kids, the yellow hat is smaller, and we've got a little shovel for them. So, yeah, feel free to come up here, uh, get some pictures, and enjoy ice cream. Grab waters as well. It is super dry. Uh, so grab waters. Um, if you want to look at the plans, there's plans up here. Plans up here. And again, enjoy the glorious weather we have and the wonderful mountain views. So thank you for coming. Yes, and please take the private shirts because there's little kids here.